We are going to start on slide seven today and uh, review slope. So this was from the Quizlet. We just copied it and pasted it over. Slope is rise over run on the graph. And then we have this image of a graph with a slope, which the rise is actually a fall two and a run one. So you're always able to go from one point to the next by doing rise over run. And when you do rise over run, that gives you your slope. Okay, so let's come up with some other things that we can write about slope. So what other things do y'all remember about slope? Okay. Slope can be positive or negative. Okay. Hey, uh, raise your hand if you want to tell me something else that you remember about slope. Hey, Seuss, what's one thing that you remember about slope? Okay, so there is a slope formula. Okay. Okay, so there is a slope formula. I wonder if there's an image that we can just copy and paste over there. Let's search the web. That way we don't have to type it out. I'm not sure if there is or not. Oh, it's on the quizzes? Oh, okay, let's do that. Oh, there it is. So we can just copy this image and paste it. Perfect. So y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. I like being able to just copy those images over. That's nice. Okay, is there something else that you typed up that we haven't said yet? Something that you remember about slope? What do you think, Derek? Oh, well, I didn't raise my hand. <laughs> I know, I'm just calling on you. Oh, uh, let's see. Point the slope form. So that's one of the formulas. So we do have point slope form. Let's see. I'm going to copy that image over. I like that one. So point slope form says if you know a point and a slope, use this form where you have y minus 1 y minus y1 equals m x minus x1 m is your slope and x1 y1 is a point on the line what does slope describe on the graph there's a key word here for slope Slope. Oh, okay. Describes rate of change. What's another word? Slope describes there's a particular word I'm looking for that starts with S. Slope is the blank of the graph. Slope. What's another word? Uh, Think about the incline. What is that also called? Starts with an S. 
What'd you say? Steep. Steepness, yeah. Describes the steepness of a line. Is there anything else I need to add that maybe you have that you want to share? It, your page does not have to look exactly like mine. It can be different. Because you might have more things on there. Just don't have less. <laughs> All right, so let's move on. Uh, types of slope. So we have positive slope. Like y'all said, we can have positive and negative slope, but we can also have zero and undefined slope. I want to show you a really super boring video. I don't know why this guy sounds so bored in the video. Maybe Writing's because he is. Happy. But Grammarly can help. But. As if, as if, as if, but it's wordy. There we go. Slope Dude. Welcome to the adventure of Slope Dude. Meet Slope Dude. He loves to ski. We are going to follow him, and he'll teach us some important aspects of slope. This is the course he's skiing today. Again, what he says will teach us about slope. You need to remember that Slope Dude always skis toward the right or eastward. When he starts out, he's going uphill. It's hard work. He says puff, puff, positive as he goes up the mountainside. Puff, puff, positive. Puff, puff, positive. Puff, puff, positive. Now he's at the top. It was puff, puff, positive all the way up the mountain. But now he can look forward to the downhill. On the way down the mountain, he says nice, negative. Nice, negative. And now, after the downhill, he's in for the hardest part of the ski run, the long, flat part. He says, this is zero fun. This is zero fun. This is zero fun. This is zero fun. And as he finishes the flat part, he doesn't see well ahead. And all of a sudden, he comes to the edge of a cliff. It's straight down. So frightened is he that he says the worst curse word possible in math and in algebra undefined <laughs> remember always what he said during his ski trip up the hill or up the slope he said puff puff positive on his downhill run he said nice negative on the long flat part of the course he said this is zero fun and finally, when he went over the vertical cliff and went straight down, he yelled the worst curse word of math and algebra. Undefined! <laughs> the uphill is the slope with a positive number. The downhill is the slope with a negative number. The flat part is the slope of zero. And the straight up and down or vertical part is undefined. This has been the Adventure of Slope Dude. Thanks for viewing. So is that a pretty boring video? <laughs> I don't know why he sounds so bored. But what we need to do is this has always helped remember what positive, negative, and zero and undefined slope look like. So let's look at our journal and let's just write the adventures of slope dude down. So if you don't have your journal, you can write it on a sheet of paper and then just transfer it over. All right, so for our uh, the beginning, Slope Dude has to climb the mountain. Then he gets to ride down the mountain. Then he has to walk. 
Then he falls off a cliff to his death. So here is our slope dude with our skis. Yes. Okay, so we have Slope Dude. As he's going up the, the hill, it's a lot of work. They don't have one of those ski lifts. He's having to walk up the hill. So that's why he's puffing. Puff, puff, positive. So this is a positive slope. I'm going to put a little plus sign here. Positive. And then he gets up to the top. Now he gets to go down. That is the worst little stick figure I've ever seen. He gets to slide down the hill. And so he's saying nice negative. So that is our negative slope going downhill. We always read it from left to right. I'm going to put a little arrow this way, left to right. Now I finished skiing the slope. He's not happy anymore because he just finished and now he's having to walk. So he says, this is zero fun. So this is a slope of zero. He's having to walk. He's not very smart because then he doesn't see the cliff and he falls off head first, of course. And he's screaming, I'm the Let me make a little comment box. Undefined. So this is a slope of undefined. Okay, so maybe this will help you remember. Maybe. It's kind of silly. Okay, so let's fill out that slide in our digital journal now. So I'm going to zoom in. Okay, so we have positive. What do you think of when you say these words? Positive slope. It what? Gradually increases. Gradually increases. Mm -hmm. So there's an increase from left to right. So let's get a line. And let's just do an example of a positive slope. I'm going to make mine a different color and also change the weight. So I change the color, I change the weight, and I also need to put arrows on the end because it's a line. A line goes on and on forever in both directions. Doesn't matter what exactly the slope is, you could put it like, like this, anywhere on this graph. Okay, so we need to type some characteristics. Positive slope rises from left to right. And like hopes that increase. 
there is an increase. What did you say exactly? I forgot. Slow increase, right? Okay, there is a, I like that, gradual increase. It could be a really sharp increase too, right? But the most important thing is that it's increasing because it could be like that. It could be really flat. It could be really steep, almost a straight up and down line. Any of these are positive slope. Okay, let's do the negative slope. Negative. I'm going to make my line. I'm going to do this one in red. I always associate negative with red. Um, and then make it a little thicker. And then make a text box. So if it's a negative slope, What's, what would I write under characteristics? If positive rises from left to right, what does negative do? You could say right to left, but we always want to read it from left to right. So instead of rising, what would it be? Yeah. Falls from left to right. And we can also say there is a gradual decrease. Okay, zero slope. This is zero fun. What kind of line is that? It would be a horizontal line. So we need to run there, horizontal. A horizontal line has the word horizon in it. The sun rises over the horizon, or yeah, it comes up over the horizon. So this is a horizontal line. So it's going to, it's going to be perpendicular to the y-axis. Or parallel to the x-axis. So it can go anywhere as long as it's perpendicular to the y-axis. Makes a right angle. And it's a horizontal line. Okay, and then the last one is undefined. So that's whenever our slope dude falls off the cliff. This is called a vertical line. Go ahead and draw the vertical line. I don't like that color. It's hard to see. Let me change it. Orange might be better. <clears throat> so undefined slope is a vertical line. And it's perpendicular to the x-axis.
Okay, so now we know what kind of slope is. As soon as you look at the line, you need to remember, is it positive, negative, um, zero, or undefined? And then you start doing rise over run. We're going to find the slope from the graph. So let's look at the next slide. Finding slope from a graph. Steps. Identify two lattice points on the line. Lattice points are where it exactly goes through the point. Or two goes through an X and a Y, like a longitude latitude. So if we look at this, I'm going to zoom in on this. See how this goes through pretty good? But then this one looks like it's below the intersect. And this one's below. See each one of these, this is not a lattice point. This is not a lattice point. This is a lattice point. So you want to identify two lattice points. Once you identify the two lattice points, you're going to put a dot on them. Because sometimes you'll be given the points and sometimes you have to figure out which ones are lattice points. You need at least two. So identify two lattice points. Starting with the point furthest to the left, count the number of units up or down. So drag and drop the up and down over here. Starting with the point furthest to the left, count the number of units up or down. That's going to be your rise. So also grab rise. So you're going to find your rise. So you're going to either go up or down. And then after you go, after counting rise, count the number of units you need to move left or right to arrive at the second point. This will be our run. And then write the slope as rise over run and simplify if necessary. Okay, so we are going to find our slope here. It says, what is the type of slope? Let's put a little text box right here. What kind of slope is this first example? Yeah, positive. That's all I need you to write. Now draw the slope with the line tool. The rise should be the green and the run should be the blue. We need two points and we are going to rise from one of the points and then run to the other. So this is a lattice point. See how it goes directly through um, 0, 1. So start your line here. Then you're going to rise. So see how I made this little line? I'm rising. I'm going to make that green. Um, I'm going to do a different green to make it thick. So see how we rise? And now we are going to run. How much did it rise? So you start at the one and then you go up until you get to six. So one, two, three, four, five. So rise five. Let's put a little number box here. Put five.
rise five. Now we're going to use a blue line to run over to this point. Which point are we going to? This one right here, because that one's too high. I think, let me double check. Yeah. And then run from here to this point over here. So we're going to change this to blue. So we rise five and then run six. So let's write our rise over run. Rise five over run six. Okay, it's not written as a fraction, so you know what we can do? We can underline rise five. Click on the underline. And now it's written as a fraction. Rise five, run six. So that is our slope. Um, but we just want to write it as five over six now. Five over six. I just made another text box. Is it hard to do it on the computer? A little bit. Okay, your assignment will be on paper, so hopefully that helps. Okay, let's go over to our next example. Use the line tool to draw rise and run for each graph. Make sure that you color the line so they are easy to see. The line weight should be at least 3px. This must be done when you have clicked the line. This one already has your lattice point strong. So all you have to do is do your rise over run. Rise is going to be green. I'm on example one, make sure you're on example one. And then your run is going to be blue. Once you have your two lines, your rise and run, then you can put the numbers in there. So this is one, two, three, four. Four. And then one, two, three, four, five. So four over five. Looks like we get to pull from over here. So it says type of slope. What kind of slope is this one? It's going uphill, puff, puff, positive. And it is four over five. So we already have it over here to your right. All you need to do is find it. I'm going to zoom back in now so you can see mine. So 
So rise over run. It is positive and it's four over five. Okay, let's go to example two. So we need to go from this point to this point. So we need to get a line and rise, make that green, make it 3px, and then run. Okay, so I'm going to, I want y'all to pause the video and I want y'all to go ahead and finish this and then I'll come around and check you and then I'll show you the answers. Okay, so I want you to check yours to mine. Make sure you got them correct. So on the second example, we have rise six, run three. It is a positive slope. But we can simplify 6 over 3 to be 2 over 1, which just could be 2. Equals 2. Okay, let's go to example uh, 3. If I can get over there. That is a negative slope. It's going downhill from left to right. It falls. So the rise is actually a fall. So negative 2 and run 6. So negative 2 over 6 can reduce to negative 1 over 3. Number 4 is a negative slope. You're going to go down 7 over 4. Negative 7 over 4. There's nothing else we can do there. It can't be simplified. So make sure these are completed. These slides. Tomorrow we will go over slope from a table and we will practice slope from a graph on an assignment. So that is it for today.